you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel you guys happy New Year's this is my first video of the 2024 year and I wanted to go ahead and kick start it off with my mid-year curricular reviews so in today's video I will be reviewing my sixth graders core curricula and in my next video I will be reviewing my kindergartner and my preschools curricula and how things have been going with them so if any of you guys are new here to my channel again my name is Brittany I'm a homeschool mom to three girls and we are in our fourth year of homeschool. So you guys, I want to go ahead and thank Oak Metal for sending me over their grade six curricular in exchange for my honest opinion and my honest reviews. I really have been holding in like all of my thoughts and my opinions of Oak Metal's curriculum to save it for today's video. I really wanted to make like an initial like um, curriculum review of Oak Metal, but I changed my mind. I wanted to give you guys a more thorough review and I finally have the opportunity to you guys in today's video to really share with you my thoughts, my opinions, and how things have been going with us with using Oak Metal's grade six curricula. So one thing I definitely will say is I have never used a curriculum quite like Oak Metal. I really love the critical thinking. I love the creativity. I love just the exploration aspect of this curriculum. It really keeps the child in mind. I love the independence of it. I love the fact that at this level, I am just coming in on the back end of my daughter's education and she's able to really take the lead and facilitate her own education. Um, just the amount of research she has been doing this semester, the writing, the art, it really has been a fruitful year for us using Oak Meadow and um, I just really have been having so much fun with it. Um, I love the variety of the weeks that Oak Metal offers. No one week is quite the same. And one thing I really have appreciated about Oak Metal is when my daughter is coming from writing like a big research paper, the next week in Oak Metal is pretty light. So it's really given, you know, her a chance to breathe after writing like a big paper. Um, she really can just, I guess, enjoy whatever independent assigned reading she's doing, have more like art and hands-on projects that week, um, especially coming after after the bigger assignments and I appreciate the way that the creators put together the weeks. One thing I definitely will say was a learning curve for me in starting Oak Meadow was the fact that Oak Meadow is not really an open and go curriculum where it tells you what to do Monday through uh, Friday. I really had to come in and divvy out the assignments per week uh, with my daughter on Mondays. And that was my biggest learning curve. But now that we are halfway through the curriculum, it really is a piece of cake for me to kind of like look ahead, see, and let my daughter choose whatever assignment she wants to do for the week and then help her make the plan in her agenda so we can go ahead and accomplish, you know, the full week of the Oak Meadows curricula. So that was my learning curve in it. But now it's really set second nature and I really have been enjoying just that aspect of me having full control and autonomy over I guess the assignments and the things that I really feel like my daughter needs to hone in and focus on when it comes to her education. So you guys, we're going to go ahead and kickstart talking about Oak Meadow with their math. So we are doing Oak Meadow Math 6 curriculum along with Math UC. Now, since I already found the math curriculum that is working well with my daughter, I did not want to do a math switch for her. However, since we are in a testing year for the state of Georgia, I really wanted to go ahead and incorporate Oak Meadow's Math 6 um, curriculum because Oak Meadow's Math 6 is a spiral curriculum and math you see is more of a mastery so she's still able to get that spiral review in preparation for her test so while we are not using this curriculum the way it's designed I still can uh, I guess appreciate the way that the math is set up and if we didn't already have a math program that was working well for her I definitely can see this being our full-on math uh, curricula for her if I had to compare this to any other math homeschooling math curriculum out there I definitely would will compare it to Saxon math. This is just a simplified version of it. Uh, to start off each week, they have a mental math section, they have the lesson where the kiddos will read. They have the skill check, the lesson practice, and at the end of each week, they have a math test that the kiddos 
are going to be doing. This is independent and student-led where the kids can do the assignments by themselves. However, the mental math games, some of them are like a playing game with cards. You may want to go ahead and do like the mental math section with the kids and then they're like off on their own. So I really, really can appreciate that about this math curricula. My only con about the Oak Meadows math so far that I have seen since we've completed half of it is that I wish there were a little bit more challenging word problems in this curricula. Other than that, it definitely is a solid curriculum. In the later years of Oak Meadows math, they do phase out the Oak Meadows math and they incorporate Saxon math. And I definitely can see this curricula preparing them for Saxon in the future. So um, definitely thumbs up for their math curriculum. Um, it definitely has been a great addition for us in our homeschool incorporation with my daughter's primary math, which is Math UC. Now, I will be making a separate video, you guys, all about Math UC, our experience. So do not worry, you will get the nitty gritty when it comes to uh, math and how it's going for us in our homeschool. So you guys, now for the start of the show, my most favorite part of Oak Mills curriculum, and I believe my daughter's favorite part of Oak Mills curriculum, definitely has to be their English and their history. Now, in Oak Meadows grade six, their English and their history component is combined along with literature. And it marries so well together, you guys. Um, I really love the take on, you know, combining your English and your history together. Whatever vocabulary words my daughter is doing in the English, it matches with the vocabulary reading that she's doing each week in the history. And it just goes along so well. And I love that component of it. So for the first semester in English, what we've went over so far has been note taking and citations. My daughter's went over the writing process. She's done short story writing, expository essays, and she ended off the year with a comparative essay. So I'm going to go ahead, or the semester, I should say, with a comparative essay. So I'm going to go ahead and you guys and share with you the literature that she has read this semester so far, which has been Maru of the Winter Caves. She's read The Golden Bull. She's read Once There Was, Twice There Was, The Rainbow People. And the last book that we read when we went over ancient Rome was The Bronze Bow. Now, this is actually one of Oak Mel's alternate reading because when my daughter started reading The Eagle of the Ninth, she wasn't into it at all. And in my homeschool, you guys, I definitely want my kiddos to read things that they can like enjoy. I know not everything is going to be enjoyable, but one thing I did appreciate about Oak Meadow is that for each of the book selections, they have three alternate books that the kiddos can read. So I chose the first alternate book for Ancient Rome, which was The Bronze Bow, and we read it together. And it was a really, really great book in talking about Ancient Rome. So I'm so happy that Oak Meadow does have those alternate reads for the kiddos, especially in this circumstance. So those were all of the independent novels that my daughter read. As far as the reference book that we read together, when we went over Ancient Greece, we used this uh, book, the Dolores book of Greek myths. And we really, really enjoyed this book as well as our reference book when we were in Ancient uh, Greece. So those are all of the literature books she's read. And I mean, I feel like that's a hefty stack for the first semester. And she said she enjoyed all of the books. None of the books was like bad, except for she really didn't like The Eagle of the Ninth. But other than that, she really, really enjoyed all of them. She got into them. One thing about Oak Meadow is they give the kiddos anywhere between three to four weeks in the English curricula to finish the um, literature component. And at the end of the three weeks, they typically have some type of project, whether it be a short story, uh, some comprehension questions, uh, whether they want them to do some type of artwork. They have so a variety of activities that the kiddos do at the end of each novel, which I definitely can appreciate. One thing I will say that I wanted a little bit more is at the end of each novel in the English, it would have been nice at the end of each week, they would have some type of comprehension or weekly recap of the novel, especially if you have a kiddo that may be struggling with like reading comprehension or you really wanna follow 
couple up with that kiddo when it comes with like the novel and the reading but because my daughter's strength is English I really didn't find it uh, hard to follow up with her with the book at the end of the three weeks but for someone else I think they definitely would like that weekly check-in with a book but I will say you definitely can't do the projects at the end of the book if you didn't read it. So <laughs> um, if you do have a kiddo that is like struggling with their comprehension, I would definitely suggest instead of giving them the novels to read on their own to do some type of shared reading so you can kind of like follow up with them on a weekly basis when it comes to their independent assigned reading. Now, the Oak Meadows English includes vocabulary, spelling, grammar, and writing. Um, one thing I will say is, as far as the grammar goes, I definitely wanted more of like a daily practice and review for my daughter as far as grammar. So I added in Fix It Grammar for like her daily review and practice. Um, the grammar lessons in here, they're really, really cool because they allow the kids to write their own sentences. They're pulling out their own parts of speeches, the clauses um any all of the things that they're doing it's really from their own sentences that they're writing is how they're pulling the grammar aspect in it which is really really cool but I do still want her to have that daily practice of grammar review so I went ahead and added in fix it grammar for her as well but they do do the grammar very very innovative and I really enjoy it as well so we do a combination of both when it comes to the grammar aspect of it as far as the vocabulary I love how they have the kiddos writing the vocabulary in context they write sentences they do crossword puzzles one of the assignments that my daughter loved the most with the vocabulary is when she had to take her vocabulary words and write a poem and her poem came out so well and it was so crazy how you definitely want to make sure when it comes to vocabulary the kids are understanding and comprehending it and knowing how to use those vocabulary words in context and when she had to write a poem using the vocabulary words it definitely took her outside the box but she used all the words in context and vocabulary is definitely an aspect that I have been focusing on with my daughter this year and I definitely know doing this like non-traditional take with vocabulary has been really sticking with her and I really really have been enjoying that when it's coming to the Oak Meadows English so um I definitely love the incorporation of the vocabulary and the spelling and things like that that they do go ahead and already have together in the English component. Now, one thing I will say is that Oak Metal does give the kids a variety of writing and writing instruction, but I'm gonna be honest, I feel like if anything that they're lacking in in their English is that specific writing instruction. And I would definitely say if your kiddo hasn't had any type of formal writing instruction before entering this level, I definitely can see where they may struggle with the writing assignments that they offer in the Oak Meadows curriculum because you guys, they just really get in straight to the point. Now, my daughter had previous experience using IEW as her like formal writing curriculum in the fifth grade. And it definitely gave her the skills to be able to take those ideas and thoughts and really begin to write in a different way, especially when they had her writing opinion pieces or the short stories or her research papers. She really was able to take that model from IEW that she learned. And I really feel like she didn't struggle at all when it came to the writing aspect of this curriculum. However, I can see if a kiddo hasn't had any formal writing instruction, they may kind of struggle a little bit with the writing because it's pretty intense in this level. I mean, some of the papers that my daughter has written, I definitely will say um, I didn't write papers with citations and things like that until high school. So it definitely is preparing them for those upper levels of writing and critical thinking in the English. And um, I definitely appreciate the way IEW breaks down the writing in comparison to Oak Meadow. But um, if you do have some type of writing instruction previous, you definitely will be okay with the Oak Meadows English. Now, when they wrote the papers in the Oak Meadows English, it was about the ancient civilizations that they were reading. So, so far in the ancient civilizations, what we've went over has been early human culture. We went over ancient cultures of Africa, Asia, and Middle East. We went over ancient Greece, 
and Roman empires. And also we went over ancient systems of government, religion, and philosophy was all of the aspects that we covered in the ancient civilizations, which you guys, like, I don't know if it's just ancient history or not, but I really have appreciated studying ancient history. It's been so much fun and my daughter definitely has enjoyed the ancient history aspect of it. She really, really enjoyed the reading selections when it came to the ancient uh, civilizations. I really feel like when she had to do her reading assignments, the ancient history was really written directly to the student. It was engaging. I really love when the text and the textbook is engaging and it's not just like a bunch of boring facts. Um, she uh, was able to then take what she read uh, to either do like some critical thinking questions or to work on her writing essays uh, that they gave her for the essays. Again, I don't know if I mentioned this, but they would give the kiddos anywhere between two and three weeks to write the specific essays within Oak Meadow. So they definitely gave them enough time to do research. You guys, we was at the library a lot this year when it came to like getting my daughter all the information that she needed to write the research papers. Um, she learned how to find credible sources and not just to, you know, look for Wikipedia. <laughs> um, it was really cool being able to take her to a library, teach her how to, you know, find the books and look for the uh, catalog numbers and things like that. So it really taught her proper researching skills when it came to the history. Now, at the end of each week in the ancient civilizations, there was always some type of like art or hands-on project that she can choose from. And she typically chose the art. So I'm gonna share with you guys some of her art projects that she did. So this right here is the first one I'm gonna show you is what she did when we went over ancient Rome. This is of course the ancient Colosseum or the Roman Colosseum. Uh, she really enjoyed doing this art piece. When we was in ancient Greece, she drew a Trojan horse. <laughs> Isn't this cool, you guys? Uh, when we went over ancient Greece as well, she made a like clay pot or um, a clay figurine. Um, so she really enjoyed doing this one. This is a ziggurat she drew earlier when we were in ancient Egypt. She did a bamboo art when we went over ancient China. She really enjoyed this. I found the tutorial on YouTube for this ancient bamboo art painting and she had so much fun with this one. When we were in ancient India, she had an opportunity to draw an instrument. So she drew this uh, sitar and I think she did an awesome job. She used crayons with this one. Some of the art pieces she used different types of things like with this piece right here when we were on ancient Persia she used uh, pastels with this one right here. This is her hanging Babylonian garden that she made. She also had to write the Ten Commandments in cursive when we went over the ancient Israelites. She did an awesome job with that one. This is her early caveman painting that she did. She actually used oil pastels with this one. She used chalk pastels when she drew the Great Pyramids. And this is one of her illustrations of her folktale that she read when she finished off her novel, Once There Was, Twice There Was. So you guys, those are all of the art pieces and projects that she's done with the Oak Meadows curriculum, uh, the ancient history and ancient civilizations, which has been awesome. We also have kept an uh, ancient history timeline. So this is her timeline that she used. We just used our school nest notebook and as we were going over each of the periods, she glued in each aspect that she was learning in ancient times. So now that we are at the halfway point of the ancient civilizations, we are going into medieval times. So hopefully she will enjoy like the medieval history that we're gonna be going over early Renaissance um, while we are finishing up this curriculum. I believe it ends us off on the early explorer and uh, the Mayans is where we're going to end off. And then for in the seventh grade year, it goes into world history. So I definitely can see the natural flow for these middle school years when it comes to their uh, curricula. So you guys, that is the math, the English, and the history. So now we are going to go into their Oak Meadows basic life science. One thing I would definitely say about Oak Meadows science is that it really um, has a lot of curiosity and exploration when it comes to it. 
Um, I really love the way that they had the kiddos doing like a lot of their diagramming and uh, drawings. One thing I will say is my con about the Oak Meadows science is that the textbook isn't in color as the um, history is. And I really wish that they had more like live pictures and things uh, similar to the history when it came to the science. Um, I definitely will say this science is very rigorous. Um, they have the kiddos using microscopes, the critical thinking. It, it really encompasses the whole child in mind. And I definitely love just that new aspect of science. However, I will say because of the exploration aspect and it wasn't something that I was used to, the science didn't work for us as well as the English and the history and the math. So I put down the science in November and I'm actually making a science curriculum switch. Um, while the English and the history has been very independent and student led, I have been finding that my daughter isn't able to take on the science as well as she has been with the other subjects that Oak Meadow has to offer. This definitely is a great science curriculum and I definitely can see myself committing to this if I didn't have, you know, my younger two kiddos that I am doing school with. Um, it really, like I said, when we were going over... Um, I forgot, I think we were going over the environment. One of the weeks they wanted us to actually go to like a watery environment for my daughter to be able to like take in the environment, take in the senses and really do like her science journal. And sometimes, you know, really getting out the house and doing those exploration things when it comes to the science, it's kind of hard for me. Um, so I definitely will say I was unable to utilize the science curriculum in its fulfill, like in its fullness as they want it to be used. And um, I definitely am used to more of a traditional science. So we definitely have made a mid-year science curriculum switch to something more traditional for her. However, in the future, I definitely can see us continuing with the science program because it definitely was great, the lessons that we did. I believe we completed the first two units of the science, so we didn't make it too far in it, but the lessons that we did do, I really, really enjoyed doing them with my daughter and she enjoyed them as well. It just wasn't our particular take on science that we personally enjoy. So you guys, this is my mid-year curricular review for my sixth grader. We really have gotten into a lot of things this year. Um, I definitely will say this has been my most fruitful year when it has come to our homeschool and I definitely will say it really is because of Oak Meadow. Um, I can't come up with all of this stuff on my own in the past you guys. Um, I never really relied on an all-in-one curriculum. I always was pulling pieces together for myself and having a curriculum all-in-one I definitely can appreciate that now. Um, I just love that I don't have to think or do any of the work, it's all done for me. We just have to come in, choose what we wanna do and follow the plan and it's been so much fun. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed like my review on Oak Meadow. I will be giving you guys my final review on Oak Meadow when we complete it and I will show you guys all of the papers, everything that my daughter has gotten up to at the end of the year with Oak Meadow. And I really hope that this video answered all of your questions or maybe piqued your curiosity when it comes to their curriculum. So you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and as always, I will look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.